Hi, welcome to Hari Systems. In this session, today we will learn what is React JS and uh, about the React JS and introduction, how to approach in React JS, where you are using and all the things, the stuff. Yeah, let's start the session today. React JS, a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Majorly, it's a nowadays it's in a trending technology. The most of the companies are introducing this technology for using to reduce the page loads. The major advantage for this, we'll uh, we'll see what is exactly what React JS people are saying that declarative React makes its painless to create interactive UIs UIs that means the user interfaces design simple views for each state in your application each state in the sense different different states are there for web applications and web pages which are interacting with the server and client based applications majorly and react will efficiently update and render just the right components when your data changes i think you are aware of it somewhere else we need some portion of data only we are uh, interacting with the web page like facebook some comment we are giving for that we are submitting the comment and it's going to be representing your comment if this is your comment it's showing Hence, it's uh, went to the uh, that uh, data server, insert data and uh, represent uh, represented at uh, comments place, and it's showing that uh, this is your comment. Hence, the rendering is completed, the life cycle of that particular component. When you are submitted a component, that particular uh, comment, that particular component phase only will render from the server and it will rep, uh, response to the browser where you are using that browser rather than earlier days old days that entire page is submitted to the server and rendering it's a huge traffic and huge huge load to the web servers and all much many aspects which are involving to load that page Hence, the React JS will give you an a provision to write component, which component you are using and facing. That particular component only reload and uh, render the data and uh, shows the data changes. That's what what they are saying here. Declarative views make your code more predictable and easier to debug. And uh, this is the big aspect here. Component based. Building encapsulated components that manage their own state, then compose them to make complex UIs. Since component logic is written in JavaScript instead of templates, you can easily pass rich data through your app and keep state out of the DOM. The state is same alike what you are seeing visible. Nothing will refresh and rechange. But the object of that particular event is occurred and it will respond you that the requirement. Learn once, write anywhere. We don't make assumptions about rest of your technology stack so you can develop new features in React without rewriting existing code. React can also render the server using Node and power mobile apps using react native that is the one of the component for mobile apps and updating the further latest technologies for this to learn react js and installations what you want to know and what its requirement react has been designed for from the start of gradual adoption and you can use as little or earn much react as you need online 
playgrounds are there to write interesting codes in react and you want to test it how to write and hello world or welcome notes in any if you don't know about it you can rightly uh, ready madely which is the environment is ready madely available going through this uh, template on code pen or code sandbox these two are ready made tools are available it will be open on your web browser there you can find out and write and test it the what is react will gives you the outputs if you want to test it you can also test it sir download the html file in your editor and you can test it add react to a website it's very easy as aware of you know if you know that how to uh, add a javascript file or css file invoking into the web page that much easy nothing is much more uh, typical and uh, by adding that uh, the things to keep uh, containing a few dynamic widgets uh, widgets and you can all the availing of the facilities you can use it yeah and uh, what are the prerequisites you want to know yeah well assume that you have some familiarity with html and javascript i hope the html based syntaxing the tags and javascript basics if you know you should be able to follow alone even if you are coming from a different programming languages too we also assume that you are familiar with the programming concepts like functions objects arrays and uh, to a lesser extent in, uh, in uh, classes writing even this class and this sessions we will give you the complete guide how to write these all the things like functions objects and arrays even uh, the extinct and uh, classes the declaration of the parameters where to write the syntaxes step by step walk through so we will explain you in our upcoming sessions we had designed for it will from the scratch to advanced learner in react js is our motto for this session and here many of the guidelines are available ready madely the reactjs.org go to this site and if you, if you want to know more familiar with that you can go it go through the steps and if you are struck there is a community is also available your community support resources you can uh, chat with them and uh, message them you can know no more about uh, the things of react js in next session we will see uh, how to install in the sense how to add web browser that react js to make it in a functionality the react js components and uh, write a hello world and all the stuffs we will see in our upcoming sessions i hope you understand about the react js please subscribe like share and comment and let us know your views about our channel uh, improvements thank you for watching this video thank you